नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन कॉन्फिगर पेन्स एंड राइट बेसिक प्रोग्राम्स इन कोड कंपोजर स्टूडियो ओके सो व्हाट वील डू इज वी हैव सी टू थाउजेंड सीरीज माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सिस्टम्स ओके द पार्ट नंबर इज एफ ट्वेंटी एट डबल जीरो थ्री नाइन सी पी जेड क्यू वन वी हैव यू नो लाइक अ डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड ऑल्सो अवेलेबल विद दिस पर्टिकुलर पैकेज सो यू कैन यूटिलाइज दैट एज वेल हाउ एवर वट वी विल डू इज वी विल ट्राई टू यूज आवर ओन सर्किट दैट वी हैव डेवलप्ड फॉर आवर सिस्टम डिजाइन एंड वील सी दैट सो यू कैन सी uh this is the you know like c2000 series real time microcontroller circuit that we have generated and we have these are the pwms these are the lin transceivers circuits and then this is my i2c okay like i2c sd and i2c scl is there we have can transceiver here we have some push buttons start stop and user push buttons are there then we have deep switches then we have a uh, user leds controls okay so these are the things that is there <laughs> similar to that we have dac here then we have current sense pin we have temperature sensor humidity sensor some other adc measurement pins are there then we have you know like current sense pin here as well okay we have here so as you can see we have actually two uh, bldc motor driver that's the reason almost all the pwm we have utilized okay so basically we need uh, 12 pwms 6 plus 6 for two uh, bldc motors so what we'll do is we'll open code composer studio and we'll try to you know like map these pwms and these uh, you know like uh, i mean uh, peripherals and show you how it is done okay so let us quickly open the <coughs> code composer studio all right so what we have is we have f28003930 c uh, you know like series project is there and this is my main main dot c so main dot c uh, this is the program that is generated from you know like code composer code composer studio okay i have taken one of the uh, example program itself and directly i have developed based on that okay so we have divide device initialization we have device initialization gpios module all these things are there okay and this is my <clears throat> main system config so system config if you double click okay then what will happen is it will come like this okay so in that if you see we have complete system here so you see uh, everything is there like we have analog io pin we have gpio cla clb everything is there okay similar to that we have adc configuration we have control configurations we have communication like can i2c lean sci spi everything is there then we have leds board component if you want you can do that as well okay so very simple thing first i'll tell you and then we'll proceed okay so let me just come to gpio okay so see gpio if you see what is happening is let me just make it little bigger <clears throat> So let us say we have user LED zero. So user LED zero from the circuit. Let me show you what is it. So user LED zero pin number seven GPIO twenty forty eight. Okay, GPIO forty eight pin number seven. So we'll configure that. So come back here and then we have you know like if you want you can put name here. So name is user LED zero. Then what is the direction? So you just see here direction is actually output. you see pin here direction is output okay and then actually it is by default that's the reason it is not allowing you to change other pins if you take it will be allowing it will allow you to change see gpio direction you can set it output input anything okay now <clears throat> uh, initial value if you want initial value you can go and see gpio zero state or one states that you can do that and then pin mux pin mux is here and you can see gpio 48 pin number 7 so if you want you can have other pins as well if whichever pin you want you can select that so this is the way you can do that way let us say i have added one more L user led 2 so user led 2 was which one can we see and verify so user led 2 is pin number 9 gpio 50 so pin number 9 gpio 50 so you see we have gpio output whether it is going to drive the leds or sync the leds so that way you can 
see that anyway led driver it will be uh, output only then coming back to the initial state initial value you want it low or high so you keep it as as per your choice and then we have pin mux see pin number 9 gpio 50 so you want you can change it how to make another pin let us say i want to add one more pin so i what you can do is you can add here so one pin will be added so see here my gpio 0 is added if you want you can rename this so let us say i have i have my other pins like my gpio 0 uh, let us say out pin okay so my gpio out pin is there <clears throat> then what is the direction so direction let us say you want it output so you can do that if you want you know like which type open drain type or push pull type which way so i'll keep it push pull type itself then uh, if you want you know like uh, this is the gpio pin that has been selected by default uh, which is going to be gpio 281 so if you want you can select another another one now how will you decide which one to select so it is depending on your circuit that is there okay so this circuit is available in that you can do that so what we can do is let us say gpio 47 is available pin number 6 so gpio 47 pin number 6 i will select that so what i will do is gpio uh, which one was that <clears throat> gpio 47 pin number 6 so gpio 47 47 is here gpio my 47 okay so gpio 47 is selected so this is how you have configured your output pin understood and once you uh, you know like uh, save this file save all okay and then a uh, project and build project so it will build the project and it will you know like generate a code so before generating the code what i will do is what i will do is i will show you what are the generated files that is available so if you expand this generated file we have board.c board.h and everything is there device.c device.h so just go back to device.c and device.h so in this in this device.h you see here <coughs> we have device library clock tree and everything then uh, come back come down come down here it is nothing okay device.c here also not much thing is there now going back to the board.h and board.c here see here uh, we have gpios config pin and all these things are there gpio a b and h everything is there here but the pins that we have already selected that will be there in device dot uh, board.c and board.h okay so this is my board.c and this is my board.h so board.h will be having the list of all the variables that is there with you so see here we have gpio pin can x you know like can rx can tx everything is there so if you come to uh, i didn't explain you that first i'll explain you uh, you know like uh, gpios so where is my gpio you can see yes here see <clears throat> we have led 0 led 1 led 2 then we have pb0 pb1 here start stop button so all these are you know like initialized by by default so you don't have to write a single line of code to do this job and board.c if you see in board.c all those codes will also be there okay so like can initialization adc initialization dac initialization pwm gpio i2c lean spi everything is there okay so this is how you do that <clears throat> now let's come back to uh, you know like sysconfig again so this is how gpio was configured if you want to see the board layout so board layout you can see here okay so this is the board layout i will just make it little bigger so you can see uh, this is the you know like pins that is there and here we have the legend so which is the, which are the pin that is available so this is pin number one which is available here then uh, you know like this some of the pins are fixed that cannot be changed so pin number two cannot be changed because this is a reset pin this is same way it is having high uh, v reference high v reference low so all these things are there which cannot be changed and how many gpios are used that is also counted here so 43 out of 55 we have used okay so that is the thing that is there if you want to see which is the you know like a uh, 
pin and package that is uh, you know like utilized here so this is the part number that is used and this is a 100 pin package if you want to change this particular you know like uh, microcontroller what you can do is you can click on this switch so it will give you the option it will give you the option to select a different microcontroller okay so this is the device name if you want you can choose another device name so we have various projects with 37 series like f28037 as well as as well as f28039 okay similar to that 49 is also there that is there so three uh, you know like microcontroller we have utilized to make systems okay and if you want you can change this uh, particular pin configuration also like 64 pin 80 pin and 100 pin so any one you know like uh, i will cancel this i'm not going to change that <clears throat> So any one of the uh, you know like a program that you create and with that you can just copy paste and then change to other ones okay so this is how you create a project okay so hope you have a good understanding how this particular things looks like now <clears throat> as I told you as I told you like we added my GPIO out and in the board.h board.h my GPIO out was not there okay so you can see come down uh, where is that yes see here my gpio out is not there all user led 0 1 2 3 all these things are there so what i'll do is i'll just close this and generate the code again and see what happens so my gpio out will be listed so let me just build the project build the project so it is building the project build is finished okay <clears throat> yes so build is finished right now you have to do is what you have to do is you come back to the come back to the project we have various projects loaded here in the you know like uh, uh, workspace here so what we will do is we'll take our project here this is the project then come back to generated source so generated source is here i told you board.h go to board.h and board.c I'll just remove this so board.h that GPIO 0 out will be listed now okay so come down come down yes here see so a user ID 0 1 2 we had GPIO 47 right so this is the one so GPIO 47 is listed okay and this is my GPIO out is there so if you want you can see here go here and in board.c my gpio out is made so you can see any gpio that you are making it it is giving you a code like how to make it output pin how to set it how to reset it okay so a very simple code is also written here if you come to while one in the main file in the main file what we have done is in while one we have turned on three LEDs, LED 0, LED 1, LED 2, that is there in the code, right? So uh, uh, that is there in the circuit. So here we have three LEDs you can see here, right? So where these LEDs are connected, I'll just go down and show it to you. Yes, <laughs> user LED 0, 1, 2. So as it goes high, it will be high. As it goes high, this will switch on, okay? Similar to that, this will switch on. This is also switch on. I hope you understood this circuit and you know like how it is mapped to the <clears throat> you know like here uh, in the code. So what we have done is we have used a simple code like a, a write pin 0 so right now it is 0 then give a delay and then make it 1 so it will switch on. So this is how and again give delay. So these three LEDs will be low then after a delay it will be high it will be high and then again delay and then low so like that it will be blinking okay good so hope you have now understood like how to start with a, a ccs code and how to generate the or build the you know like code using the code composer studio gui so this is kind of a very nice gui that is there available with uh, you know like us uh, given by texas instrument directly so I explained you about the you know like GPIO how to add it similar in in similar fashion in similar fashion let us say you want to add ADC pin or you want to add DAC pin let us say this DAC so this DAC is there DAC1 out DAC2 DAC1 I mean DAC A and DAC B 
so DAC A is there, DAC B is there, V reference I am using VDAC pin for reference and then you know like which pin you want to use so this that pin is actually you know like mentioned here pin configuration sorry pin configuration is mentioned here okay so if you want you can take that similar to that epwm so epwm i will not explain you right now however pwm 1a 2a you know like a 3a 4a 5a 6a 7a 8a is there okay and then b will be complementary to that understood so if you come down we have all the you know like uh, actions put inside this each of them okay so what is the frequency that you want and which pin you want to use for that so you can see gpio 0 pin number 79 is used for a and gpio 1 pin number 78 is used for b so in the circuit in the circuit which one is that pin that you can see so gpio you know like a 0 is used for 1a and GPIO 1 is used for 1B. So this is how it is maintained. Understood? So hope uh, you have a basic understanding of how to start with the coding. <clears throat> Similar to that, we have CAN transceiver. So CAN 0 is used and CAN transceiver which pin configuration is used here. So you can see GPIO 30 and GPIO 31 is used for that purpose. Similar to that, we have I2C. So I to see which pin is used. So we, uh, this pin that is used is here. Okay. So basically pin mux, it will allow you to select your pin that will be applicable for I to see. It is very easy. Okay. But however, in the next session, what I will do is I will explain you through a data sheet how to assign pin for different functionalities. Okay. If you come to uh, this one, I to see, so I to see one of them is used. You can see one of two is added. You want, you can add another one. So add another one what it is saying it is wrong means the other pin i2c is there which which uh, those pins are being used for other functionality okay so you have to make sure they are used uh, you know like those pins are available and then only you can add this so what you can do is you can delete that so it will be again fine <clears throat> understood similar to that lean and spi is there so i have added two spis here you want you can delete one of them so only one is enough okay <clears throat> so good guys uh, if you do have any questions or any you know like understanding that is needed how to generate code from uh, ccs and how to start coding with ccs okay and any you know like a, a microcontroller that you want to use you can do that as well so we have developed several codes using using you know like c2000 series microcontroller as well as we have msp series microcontroller also okay so mspm 0z mspm 0l so these are the two one of the best microcontrollers that i have seen recently uh, you know like launched by texas instruments so we have developed lot of codes with that also uh, sim sim recently we have developed led driver using very simple microcontroller mspm 0l 1105 okay so if you see here we have led driver and how to you know like uh, start with led driver and if you see this is the system configuration that is opened so we have gpios here we have adc pins one of the adc pin is used okay and in adc pin you can see uh, let me just open it and show it to you basic configuration is this one uh, okay let me just make it little smaller okay so <clears throat> this is the this is the you know like adc and then we have sequence leds and how many in the conversion is two okay so this is how then you can see gpio you know like channel two is used then channel three is used and then uh, then channel you know like sorry then channel seven is used okay so two three and seven if i show you the circuit you will be able to understand how it is used okay and then pin configuration you can see channel two pin uh, which pin is used how it is used and pin multiplexer pin 25 24 and 18 uh, sorry yeah, this uh, 20 19 and 14 these three pins are used for adc channels okay so channel 2 channel 3 channel 7 are used so similar to that any coding if you want you can generate and you can you know like uh, start with uh you know like ccs studio programming all right so please put down your request uh, you know like questions or comments that is there for generating the code and how to start with coding in uh, you know like ccs and we shall be able to help you out thank you